Now, when you think of candy concentrates in the automotive painting world, you think of House of Color. They are the kings of candy concentrates. They've got a great reputation for having very high quality paint additives. And they just came out with something very new and very exciting. They are getting into the color shifting game. And this right here is the brand new House of Color Chameleon series. So these are supposed to be liquid, high concentrate, high saturation, intense shifting effects. Now, one of the coolest things about these is that they can be mixed with House of Color candy concentrates. So imagine their chameleon concentrate and then the candy concentrates, which they have a ton of different colors of, and there's five of these, the combinations and variations are endless. And they've done a lot of homework here to try to make these the easiest to spray shifts on the market. There's a new technology, a new coating on the pigment that allows it to shift cleaner and lay easier to help avoid cloudiness and modeling. So this should be, or could be, a game changer. The one that we're playing with today is their blue to red. Now, these are compatible with DYC top coats for DIY use. Of course, they're compatible with automotive paints, but we're gonna meet you right in the middle and in an effort to give them the best first look possible, Gabe wanted to spray them in Autoflex, which I think is a great idea. We have no idea how much we have to add per gallon. Do you have any suggestions? We could go with what we did before where it was like one bottle of, in the past we did concentrate into two gallons. So about half a bottle per gallon. Why don't we pour a little in, maybe half a bottle, mix it up, check the opacity or the transparency and go from there. So here's, oh, it's rich. Here's about half. Wow. Okay. We haven't sprayed these. We haven't tested them. We are learning and experiencing this for the first time with you guys. Okay, I think we're gonna need more. Yeah. Let me check, let me check. I can see it on the stick. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is about half a bottle into one gallon. We're nowhere close. And we always are gonna cut what's in here into another gallon. So just whole bottle? Yeah. Whole bottle. Make sure there's nothing stuck at the bottom. I'm getting some very interesting tones here. Now, what we're expecting is essentially the same thing as what you can expect from their candy concentrates. Super saturated, bold, intense colors. If they can pull that off in a shifting effect, hoochie mama, look out. So now I, I would, I still almost think we need more. I agree. It looks very translucent. So what we're used to and a normal load of a pigment like this, we're, we're seeing more coverage. You could try it on the stick of truth. St that's a good idea. A very good idea. Okay, I see more. Right off the bat, I see more. But, all right. We have more. Yeah. You wanna pop that other bottle open? Two full bottles into one gallon, which again, we're gonna be cutting. See, I can see the blue and the red and almost like this amber off to the edge. So one more on the stick of truth here. Yeah, we're starting to build up some of that vibrancy now. And remember, this is gonna be sprayed in Autoflex high gloss, so it's gonna have perfect clarity, super, super high gloss sheen. You ready? Oh yeah. I'm ready, let's go. Well, we're back. We started doing the mixing and Gabe noticed, he's like, something doesn't seem right. And he was dead on. Now we were told that if candy concentrates from House of Color were compatible with our top coats, that this should be compatible as well. And as we started putting it together, the color was muted and it seemed translucent. And Gabe actually pulled this stick up and showed me that it's starting to kind of coagulate. It's not as compatible with our top coats as we were hoping. And that's why there was really no vibrancy or really no color shifting effect in the glass jar. So because thankfully we were planning on spraying this car in Autoflex and you can use automotive paints within the Autoflex system, we may have a way out of this. Uh, we had a gallon of some high grade 
automotive clear base coat. This stuff was made to be used with automotive, automotive base coats and paints. So we're hoping, we've got one jar left, that once this goes into the automotive paint, we'll get the desired effect that we were looking for. Fingers crossed. I'm just going all in. As soon as we start mixing, we'll know. I know this stuff is supposed to be really cool. I can kind of already tell this is gonna be way better. And it's really important for us to give this a fair shake. So right off the bat, I mean, this looks right. Yeah. There's way more color, way more vibrancy. You couldn't even see those swirls before. And let's check it on a stick of truth here and then get some color down on the, yeah. This is, this is way more like it. Way more like it. So we've got some color to lay down, so let's get it on the car. All right, guys, we are finished with the project. And if you have a minute, I would love to unpack everything that happened for you. So Gabe and I were collecting the mixing shots of the jar and we were both looking at each other like something doesn't seem right. We weren't getting the color and the vibrance or the effect that you would expect out of a product like this. Thank God Gabe decided to investigate further. He started to find these little coffee ground looking particles that were in the material and those shouldn't be there. And he looked at me and he's like, something is happening here and I'm really afraid it's gonna get worse. Thank God we listened to his gut and we went in another direction because everything that we were originally mixing in that jar essentially turned into a solid ball of jelly. So imagine the disaster if we would have actually sprayed that on the car. Thankfully, we were able to utilize automotive paint in the Autoflex system. If you know how to do that, you can sandwich the automotive uh, paint right in the middle. And it worked like a charm in the automotive base coat. Now we are gonna double back. I was very excited to use these new chameleon effects because you can combine them with tons of different other colors with their candy concentrates. And the combos there were gonna be nuts. So we're gonna go back and test again to see if it was just the Autoflex base gallon that wasn't compatible, or if maybe there's some other DIY top coats that we can use. And I'll fill you in on that. As far as the end result, we got exactly what we were hoping for from a House of Color product. It's pretty nuts. We're gonna take the car outside right now so that you guys can check it out. You know what to do, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Do you love it? or do you hate it, rate it one through five. Now, if you wanna dip your own wheels, your own emblems, your whole car, using our DIY products and kits, click right up here. If you're interested in using these House of Color candy effects for either Autoflex or automotive paint where they're really gonna perform, there's a link below as well. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. This was a very interesting project. It could have taken a very dark turn, but we got through it. The end result was worth it. I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>